What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel, Pro TV. And today I'm finally got I'm finally giving you guys the HTC U11 review. I've been on vacation, I've been kind of busy. Uh, we own our own business, so taking care of that is kind of hard and then trying to fit videos in and editing and things like that. So without further ado, I'm going to do a quick rundown on the specs. I don't think I'm, I'm mostly doing this video for just average consumers that go in the store and you know they don't know what to pick. So these are all just numbers and I don't break down the specs that much. I'm a spec heavy person like I I prefer more RAM, better processor, etc. So that's me. Um, if you want a smooth experience, I believe that the specs are, are, are important, especially with Android phones because um, a lot of people put, or a lot of manufacturers put in a heavy skin, so it just weighs the phone down um, in smoothness. So it's got a Snapdragon 835, which is the latest from Qualcomm. It's a great, great processor, very fast, four gigs of RAM, 12, pic, 12 megapixel uh, camera on the back, uh, dual flash, and aperture of 1.7. The front has, a, it's a selfie camera, um, it's a 16 ultra pixel uh, camera with the aperture of 2.0. Uh, basically, what that means is like the 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 smaller the aperture, the better the camera's supposed to be. 5.5 um, inch LCD display, 3,000 milliamp battery, fast charging. Basically, it's the top of the line specs. Basically, um, you can't ask for you know. There's companies out there that make. Uh, six gigabytes of RAM, um, Snapdragon 835s. Does it make it run better? It depends on their user interface. Um, like the OnePlus 5 has nearly stock um, a skin, so it, it runs super smooth. Do I think it needs more RAM? I think phones like Samsung still do, but um, whenever I do a review on them and stuff like that, I'll, I'll, um, I'll really uh, look into that. Um, so I'm gonna go over performance, look and feel, battery life, camera, extra features, and I'll just give you a quick conclusion of what I think. Uh, performance, it's very smooth. Sm uh, HTC have all, has always, always um, made their, top, their higher end Android phones, their higher end Android phones very, very smooth. It super, super smooth. Super smooth, uh, never had a problem. Great phones, um, no lag. Well, basically no lag. So, I like using Android Messenger as or Android Messages as or whatever you want to call it as my messaging app. Um, that's the only uh, app that I've seen that actually lags a little bit when you open it. And it depends on what you do when you're typing or whatever. Especially in the HTC U Ultra, it did that a lot. I don't like using the, the the messaging apps that come with the phone themselves usually. I mean, some of them are pretty cool, but I've always liked using the, the Android Messenger, so that's the only time I really saw that. And obviously, I wanna say Snapchat because Snapchat isn't really optimized for Android for some reason, and that's why like the cameras on, on Android, on Snapchat, doesn't come out that good. I mean, the picture and stuff like that. Um, and it's kind of laggy, but that's because Snapchat isn't, I don't know what how they optimize it for Android, because on iPhone it's faster, it supposedly looks better, but it doesn't necessarily work as fast as, as it does on um, on Android as, as opposed to iPhone. Um, look and feel. Uh, look and feel for me is very important because you carry your phone, you hold it, you look at it every day. You, you might wake up and that's the first thing you do is go straight for your phone. I feel like it's a great looking device. As you can see, I put a skin on it. I think it's a beautiful device and I don't regret putting a skin on it because if you drop it, this thing scratches up like crazy. So now with the skin on it, you don't necessarily have to have a case, but obviously you always have to be careful with the screen might break it might not break you, you know you that's those are the chances you take um as far as being up to date like you know samsung and even the new iphone coming out 
they're falling short as far as the, the look and feel because these bezels are huge. I mean, you could have done, they, they could have done so much more with these bezels. They could have made it a six inch phone almost or a 5.7 or HTC boom sound, two speakers like you guys used to have it. I don't know, you guys could have done a little bit more in my opinion with, with how chunky this phone is. Um, battery life, battery life. So on a usual day, I wake up at 5.30. So I go to the gym, come back. I use Spotify, I'm streaming music, whatever. I don't leave the house until like six. I get up, I take the dogs out, X, Y, Z. So I leave the house about six, 6.30, take the phone off the charger, um, check my social media or whatever, you know, I, you know, whatever. I end up leaving, come back, listen to Spotify while I'm in the gym, whatever. Come back and it's about 85, 90%. That's pretty good. It's not bad. But what I end up doing is popping it on the charger again, taking a shower, getting ready, take it off, back to 100. Quick charging is pretty fast. Then I go about my day. Depending on how heavy they use, yes, this phone will last you pretty much all day. You know, you leave at 930 or whatever. Um, if you're a normal, if you have a normal job where you get in the car, go to work, come back. People that ride trains, buses, things like that, I would get a battery pack for this. The only reason why is because when you're on the train, when you're on the bus, whatever, you're gonna be listening to music, so you're just draining your battery more, right? It gets work, you might not use it at work, you might be cool because the standby is pretty good on this. But me, naturally, every time I get in the car, I just pop it in, I pop every phone in the charger, no matter what. I just don't like seeing my phone um, under when I when I leave when I'm somewhere I don't like seeing it under 80% because I, I don't know what, how my day is gonna go so I, I carry a charger no matter where I am um, I have a charger at work I have a charger in my car but if you go a regular day go to work come back make dinner blah 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 I guarantee you you're gonna have at least 20% um, of battery left depending on the usage of your phone so just keep that in mind. Is it's a good camera? I mean, a good battery, but just depending on your day, I would get, I would get a, a battery pack. Or if you're allowed to have a charger at work or whatever, I would take a charger with you to work. And just because you never know what you're gonna do on your phone, you don't know if you're gonna stream movies or stream YouTube or X or whatever. Um, but it is a good. It's a decent camera. A decent battery. Uh, camera. I think this camera, as far as video taking, great. There's nothing really touching that as far as video taking, uh, especially when you when you zoom into something. It has 3D 3D audio, so if you're you're recording something, you know, 50 meters away, 60 meters away, whatever, and you're trying to like like for example, I was at the beach um, last week, and I took it with me just to do like battery te uh, camera tests and stuff like that. Uh, the hotel room. At a balcony, and we can look at the and look, look at the beach. Um, I would zoom in, and you can hear the waves, like clear, like they were like right here in front of you. That's that's pretty dope. I think it has all these um, microphones for it to do that. And I think that as far as video taking, so sel like selfie video taking, um, amazing phone. As far as pictures, the pictures are, I think, they're a nine out of ten. That's what I'm gonna rate it. 9 out of 10. Why? Because I I went into the store one day and I put it next to the S8. And this is what this is what made me get the S8. And I'm going to make videos on that coming up. I'm not going to do an unboxing on that. I'll probably just do a quick review because um, a lot of you guys might have it already. This, this phone right here, a lot of people are on the fence on getting it or not. So I'm doing a quick review just to focus on the on the average consumer so I put them side to side and I don't know if it's the aperture on this phone or the, or the LCD panel but the pictures I mean obviously Samsung oversaturates their phones I mean their cameras um, and their pictures and stuff but when it came to putting them side to side the biggest reason why I got the SA was because it looked so much clearer it looked brighter it looked nicer um, and I compared them and I just said, you know what? It, I was really looking forward to this phone because of the camera and stuff like that. 
And like I said, I think it's an amazing camera. It could go, it goes head to head with iPhone, uh, with anybody, Samsung, LG. I think that it goes head to head. And you know what? It's a single camera. So that tells you a lot because um, the the trend right now is double cameras on the ca on the on smartphones. Do I think it's a good idea? I think it depends. I think if you do it like the Note 8, yeah, I think that's that's the way to do it. I think that if you just want it for portrait mode, honestly, this phone only has one camera, and to use it for the portrait mode, po <laughs> portrait mode, it does a phenomenal job. I think it does a better job than the iPhone does. Um, and even the Galaxy S8 only has one camera. And guess what? It took it takes amazing pictures. The portrait mode on that thing is is damn near perfect. Um so could it could it have been better? I think it could have been a little bit better because in the at low light situations it wasn't that good. It was decent, it was pretty good, but I think it could have been a little bit better. But overall, great camera. Um HTC isn't one to put extra features except for this year. They they wanted to do the the edge sense, you squeeze it on the side, it launches the camera, or it launches certain apps. I never used it once. I set it up, I didn't like it, so I took it off. I said, you know what, I'm not gonna use it. So I took it off. Um you could launch your camera by double clicking the power button just that fast. So why, you know, just sit there and then also what I found out is with certain cases, you can't squeeze it. The case kind of messes it up because of the of the grip that, that you need to. It's got a, a sensor right here. So it needs it. It needs it to be kind of flimsy for you to be able to, you know, click on it. So overall, um, my, the conclusion to this video and overall my, my choice I give I think this phone is amazing. I think that it competes with the best of them. I think that things like like little features like the when when you do screenshots on on your on your phone and you have a scroll screen where you can like let's say you want to send somebody a, a long page like oh you know check these messages out. I was you know texting XYZ and I want to show you all these messages instead of screenshot and screenshot and screenshot. All you got to do is screenshot and scroll up until you want to stop. It doesn't do that. That's one feature I wish HTC would have left or would have, you know, hopefully a software feature or I mean a software update might um, bring that in. I don't know. That's one of the things I didn't like about it. Um, I don't like the, the feel. It's too chunky for me. It's just I have the OnePlus 5 also and this one I can I can grip. I feel it feels very comfortable in the hand. It feels light. This one I can't I barely barely can I don't have big hands but still the S8 longer screen um but I just didn't like the look. I don't like this. I don't like these chunky bezels. They, like I said HTC could have put their actual boom sound speakers in here like they used to with how big these vessels are. Could have maybe made the, the screen a little bit bigger. Um, I don't know. I give it about a nine out of 10 overall because in everyday everyday use, it, it's, it works. It, it doesn't lag except for that. If you know, a lot of people don't use different messaging apps, they, they use their the, the one that, that comes on the phone. Uh, other than that, this phone is is great. I'm glad I bought it. Um, I stopped using it as my daily driver, and the reason is because I bought the S8 when I compared the cameras, um, and I was always skeptical on the S8 because I um, I never liked the, the the Samsung interface. I hated it. It slowed the it slowed the phone down. A lot of people that came from an iPhone usually go straight to Samsung. In my opinion, if you're gonna go from iPhone to Android, go to an H get an HTC, get an HTC U11 because it's fluid, it runs smooth. I'm not saying that the S8 doesn't, the S8 is Samsung. You guys are finally headed in the right direction. Doesn't really lag, doesn't really, 
I haven't seen it. I haven't felt it stutter. I haven't, you know, anything. It's a great device. But let's get back on track. The HTC U11 is a great phone. Overall, great experience. If you want it for a camera, great camera. Battery, pretty good, pretty good battery. Performance, like I said, no lag. Um, battery, uh, like I said, it's, it's got a pretty good battery. Um, overall, great device. I recommend it to anybody out there. If you want to buy it, only thing that sucks is that no, no carrier really carries that except for a Sprint, I think. If you're on a Sprint and you're hesitant about this, I would say grab it. Um, I think it's going to be... Last year, the HTC 10 was a sleeper phone, and nobody really, nobody really cared for it. Nobody, but at the end of the day, as far as performance, the performance on that phone lasted. It was consistent. It didn't really lag. It didn't, you know, it didn't do anything. So um, I'm gonna upload some videos and some pictures here, so you guys can enjoy. And I'll see you on the next one. Um, I got a couple more videos to go. I'm gonna do a quick comparison on some user interfaces and uh, see what you guys think. See, check you on the next one. Uh, kind of quick vlog, uh, showing you the camera. It's a pretty decent, pretty sick camera, I think. Uh, one of the best. Yeah, so here's uh, one of my camera tests. Stay tuned. Just laying there and pop. That's like one of the important things is you gotta pop.